and I'm going to show you how to set up your bow. So this is a brand new bow that I got from Char. This uh, run about uh, $25. So I'm going to show it to you. So it comes uh, with absolutely no rosin at all. This is just natural horsehair. And uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tighten your bow. So your bow has a, uh, has a curve to it and you want to tighten by turning clockwise this little nut on the end here and what you're looking for is to get it so that it's almost quite straight but not quite so you know I've got it so that it's pretty much even so it's kind of straight but not completely straight okay so this is about as tight as you want to get it okay so don't make it so tight that there isn't any bend left at all so take a look at that. This is about what you're looking for, tightness. Okay, so now the first thing you need to do is you need to put some rosin on your bow. You need to get a good quality rosin here. And after you use your rosin for a while, it kind of uh, puts uh, some uh, mark guide marks into your rosin. So you want to take your rosin and you want to stroke your, your new bow hairs across that like this. So you want to be pretty aggressive about this. You want to try and get on as much rosin as you can. If you have a brand new rosin cake, you know, it may take a while to get even your rosin started. Because after you get it started, then, you know, you get a little groove in there and then uh, it starts picking up the rosin dust. But you want to aggressively rosin your bow here. And after you do that a couple times, you know, you want to try and whip that through the air and uh, try and redistribute that rosin. So you want to keep on pressing and doing this a couple times. And I just, okay, now when you start doing this, you know, the the bow hairs should actually start turning white. So that's how you know that you're getting enough on there. So after you do that a couple times, then go ahead and just run it across your violin. And if you do this right, you should see some rosin dust rising off of your Go ahead and do that a couple times. Go and put some more rosin on your on your bow after you do that. You want to make sure you get all the way from the frog all the way to the tip. So continue to, and you may have to do this uh, over a course of a few days when you first use your violin because you can never really get enough rosin on your bow it's also important to get rosin on your strings because between your strings and your bow this has uh, the most to do with uh, how well your sound is if you have don't have enough rosin it'll be really hard to get a nice tone on your violin and if you get too much rosin then you might uh, be scratching more than you need to so it's important to to get this set up correctly but uh, that's how you set up your bow and one other rule this is a golden rule so pay attention after you get the rosin on your bow do not touch the the horsehair with your fingers because it it will get oil on your on your, your bow hairs and that will repel the rosin It'll make it difficult for your bow to work correctly. So uh, never touch the hairs on your bow after you put rosin on. Okay, so that's how you set up your bow. And when you're done with your bow, you always want to make sure to unscrew it and take the tension off so that the, the bow hairs fall basically back down on the stick. Not too loose, but so that it's, there's no tension left on, on the bow. So that's it for this lesson.